During the Cold War, it could fly higher and faster than any other aircraft, and 55 years after its first flight, it is still capable of it. The Lockheed State Route 71, designed in secret in the late 1950s, was able to fly close to the edge of space and defeat missiles to this day, holding the record for the highest altitude in horizontal flight and the fastest speed for an aircraft that without rocket power. Part of a family of spy planes built to roam enemy territory, without being shot down or even detected, in the days before satellites and drones the black paint designed to dissipate heat earned it the nickname Blackbird, and combined with the sleek lines on the long fuselage, made the plane appear different from anything that had ever been seen before a design that has not lost an iota of its brilliance. It still looks like something from the future, although it was designed in the 1950s, design and development of the Blackbird because of the way the fuselage is curved and the wings are curved and meandering, this aircraft looks more natural than mechanical, most conventional aircraft look like they were made by someone this aircraft almost looks like it was developed. Since the aircraft is designed to fly faster than 2000 miles per hour, friction with the surrounding atmosphere will heat the fuselage to the point that it can melt conventional aircraft frames therefore, the aircraft is made of titanium, a metal capable of withstanding high temperatures while being lighter than steel. However, the use of titanium poses another problem. First, a new set of tools, which were also made of titanium, had to be made, as ordinary steel tools would destroy the fragile titanium on contact second finding the source of the metal itself proved difficult, at that time the Soviet Union was the world's largest supplier of titanium, the US government had to buy a lot of titanium, probably using counterfeit companies. The first aircraft to be flown without being painted at all, exposing a silver, colored titanium skin, the aircraft was first painted black in 1964, after realizing that black paint, which efficiently absorbs and radiates heat would help lower the temperature of the entire fuselage of the aircraft, the Blackbird was born. Same plane, different name. The A-12 soon evolved into a variant designed as an interceptor, a type of fighter, and not effectively a reconnaissance aircraft. This meant adding air-to-air -air missiles and a second cockpit, in order for the flight crew to operate the radar equipment needed this new aircraft, which looked identical to the A-12 except for its nose, was called the YF-12. While the A-12 remained a top secret, the existence of the YF-12 was revealed by President Lyndon Johnson in 1964, and three of them were built and operated by the U.S. Air Force, a third variant was produced around this time called the M-21, which had a mast behind it to mount and launch one of the first drones. The last derivative of the A-12, with a double cockpit and greater fuel capacity, was called the State Route 71, which stands for Strategic Reconnaissance, and first flew on December 22, 1964, this was the version that would continue to carry out intelligence missions for the U.S. Air Force for more than 30 years, and in total there were 32 units built bringing the final number for the Blackbird family to 50. Stealth before stealth. The SR-71's fuselage used some of the first composite materials ever used in an aircraft, which made the aircraft more difficult for enemy radar to detect, essentially this aircraft was stealth even before the term stealth was used. Flying at a higher altitude than the range of anti-aircraft fire, faster than missiles, and virtually invisible to radar, the Blackbird can enter enemy airspace without interference. The idea is that by the time the enemy detects it and fires their missile, it's already on its way out, but this happens before we have a real-time data link, so they take pictures on film and bring the film back to base for processing and study. As a result no Blackbird was ever shot down by the enemy, however, its reliability became a problem and 12 of the 32 aircraft were lost in accidents, the aircraft was also complicated to operate and fly, it took a lot of people to prepare the aircraft, Blackbird operational missions basically had a countdown, like space missions, because there was so much preparation involved in preparing the crew and vehicles, an incredible amount of effort and manpower. The pilots also had to wear special clothing, 
due to the extreme conditions found at high altitudes they basically wore spacesuits, the same type that the shuttle crew would later wear. The cockpit also became very hot when flying at high speeds, so pilots used to heat their food in long-range missions by attaching it to the glass. Not a single Blackbird was ever flown over Soviet airspace, something the U.S. government completely discontinued after the 1960 incident, but they still played an important role in the Cold War and carried out missions in other important regions such as the Middle East, Vietnam, and North Korea.